Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 74. In this video tutorial, I am going to talk about how to talk with DB2 in your own language. So in your native language. So this slide talks about the problem and the solution. So the problem scenario is we want to talk with DB2 in our native language. So if I am like uh, uh, from Germany, I want to speak with DB2 in German. So if I am from France, French. If I'm from Brazil, Portuguese, so like that. So, so how do how we do this? Okay, uh, but keep in mind that uh, when I say like talk with DB2, right? So I don't mean the DB2 commands. The DB2 commands will be in English only. So like you you will still have to issue DB2 start DB2 start command for starting the instance, stop command for stopping the instance. So that is not going to change. The command is not going to change. So what I mean by talk with db2 in your native language is the db2 interface language will be changed like for example the sql error messages the sql error codes like the description for the sql error code or sql states uh, even the snapshot monitor output uh, those will be in the uh, language of your choice so and also be aware that i am not talking about the db2 database code page so the database code page is uh, about the db2 data that is stored inside a database like inside a table like what kind of uh, you know language uh, specific information you want to store so that is the d database code page so that i am not talking about is it, this is only like db2 interface language okay uh, so what is the solution so the solution is to first we need to install something called as a national language fix pack or nl fix pack that should be available uh, uh, for download so we need to install this uh, once we install like it, it is a single national language will fix back it contains all the languages uh, but there is only limited interface languages support only is available so we cannot expect like a very broad array of language as supported in a db2 database code page so the database code page is the one which supports uh, you know like lot of languages but whereas the interface language is somewhat limited only uh, so most commonly used will be available okay uh, so so for that first we need to install the national language uh, fix pack then we need to set the lang environment variable in unix based uh, system particularly i am going to demonstrate for how to do this in a db2 uh, command line processor environment db2 clp session okay so let's uh, so if it is going to be like a jdbc client the way you do it it will be different i think you with jdbc you will have to just uh, set the locale uh, of the jvm okay so I hope that is a correct solution. Okay, but let us let us look for how to do this in a DB2 CLP session. Okay, so let me get into uh, the examples as usual. So, so this is the lang variable setting that I am talking about. Okay, so lang equal to de underscore de dot utf8. So which means that uh, my language is German and my country is like Germany and utf8 encoding system is what i'm using so let me just set this environment variable here first okay done so after that when i issue the db2 start or for example db2 level right let us just do that so see how it is okay the start is going to take some time so i'm having a low-end laptop so it won't be like uh, lightning fast so it's going to take some time Okay, so you can see that. See here, uh, where I, I don't know, I don't, I don't know German here. So, so hopefully this is the uh, the database start uh, successful message. Okay, and you can also see when I see when I issue DB2 level command, all the installation details and and all that is is all in uh, German language. Okay, so which is what we have set, and even the snapshot output, I'll show you that also. So you can see that like the snapshot output right see here uh, the, the product the client instance name uh, the product version and all that so everything is is like in german uh, language so this this is what i was talking about so this is only the interface language okay so i'm not talking about, and when i say db2 right so this is the db2 clp session in an interactive mode so there also you can see that and even i can connect to sample and I will uh, select something, select uh, some table name like that. Okay, 
okay so let me just connect a sample co and any cp connect a sample okay you can see this here database uh, server is in german language the authorization id the alias name so all in german languages so this is what i mean okay so i'm not talking about the data that is stored inside the uh, uh, database or that that is called as code page so that we will we'll not worry about that so when even when you issue the connect reset so i think it is saying the connect is successful the reset operation is successful i guess okay so then i will say quit okay done so this is this is how the support works and i can change the language also like immediately i can change if i if i want like uh brazil portuguese like that so i can even do uh, lang export lang i am just using the terminate command so that uh, you know the i am changing the environment right so i am changing the back end process also so you can see that already the terminate command the message is coming in uh, portuguese language i guess okay oh yes it is portuguese language okay but i i i don't know what it says okay so same way db2 level db2 snapshot everything will get changed now see here instancia so hopefully it is a portuguese uh, thing no uh, yep yeah. okay so even the snapshot output got changed okay as the portuguese language then i can say db2 okay see here and uh, i can say quit and another thing like uh, for example when i say db2 question mark double quotes sql uh, 911n let's look at what it says yeah see the that information right the uh, you know the the reason codes and the error code uh, details right so sql 0990911 n so if i query that it all comes in in like a whole different language right i don't think db2 pd will be influenced okay let's see that so uh, db2 pd hyphen edus probably okay see so okay yeah this is not going to get influenced so because it doesn't have that much descriptive information right so uh or we could say yeah so i i don't think this will get that much influenced okay uh but yeah so this is how we set the language and it is quite independent so suppose if i have another uh, terminal right so i can just open another uh, tab uh, and this will be in english only so when i say here db2 uh how do i say db2 question mark sql 911 n so here it will be in english only right so because i will have to set it at every every uh, session level or at, at the every uh, shell environment uh, level so so that that's how it is so otherwise it's going to assume the english language only so that's it so i'll stop and i'll exit so db2 stop so even the stop also we get you know in in that appropriate portuguese language now so okay so that's it in this video tutorial hope this information was useful to you so if you are having like you know a dba who is from a different country and he just wants all these commands and responses to be uh, in his own native language for for his uh, better understanding so you can just implement this uh, hopefully this information was useful to you thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel db2 luw academy see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye okay so before that sorry about that sorry about that so this is the uh, national fix pack installation so once i install the fix pack right home db2 nst1 sql lib msg right so inside that you will have various languages so this is where the so you can find it find it here so if you find your language installed here so you should get the messages also appropriately so this is the national language fix pack installation okay okay fine See you in the next video tutorial. Until then, bye-bye.